It takes decades and decades for a culture to progress. It could be eight months for a culture to regress back to something of the past. I mean, it happens in such a short time. We can also regress back to being ultra-tribalistic. And that's what happened with the Nazis. That's what happened with National Socialism, Fascism. That's what happened. You know, it doesn't take very long. And yet, people are wondering why I am so concerned about the possibility of our culture regressing. Well, there's not much danger of that. Uh, you know, Islam, Islam, Islam. It's like, okay, why would our culture regress to a foreign culture? That makes no sense. That's idiotic. I mean, it's, it's fucking retarded. We're not going to regress to a foreign culture. We're going to reg regress to our culture to something that's already part of our culture, a significant part of our culture. That's the kind of ways that we are going to regress. That's how that works. If Islam was a significant part of our culture, then yeah, you could make that statement, but it's not. It's not a significant part. You know, People talk about how we need to be vigilant in making sure we don't repeat some bad mistakes of of history. Now, I fully understand when people talk about what it seems like, or I'm saying seems like because it's it's hard to know whether for sure that's really a lot of people's stances. But when it seems like a lot of these, uh, you could call them SJW, you could call them ultra progressives, you could call them whatever, on these colleges, that a lot of the things that they're shoving forth are rather uh, totalitarianism. Totalitarian. Totalitarianism. They're very totalitarianism, yes. Um, I'm Englishing really well, right? <laughs> but a lot of the stuff that people are pushing forth is very totalitarian. Lots of rules, lots of regulations, lots of uh, things that say that people need to, to do things a very particular way. But that's not the same as social attitudes changing into something very, very, very bigoted. Now, there are the people out there saying, you stupid cis white male. Yeah, there, there, there are people doing this. Absolutely. And that should be spoken against. Unfortunately, in the process of speaking against that, people have become worse than those they're speaking against. Because in speaking against those things that the, those people are doing, it's starting to speak against reasonable things, reasonable uh, idealism, speaking against anything liberal at all. Because when you're in the right, or you could say the wrong crowd, if you speak against any element of that, well, you must be one of them. You must be an SJW. Hey, everyone, look at this SJW cuck. So people are just, it's, it's like, no, you, you need to think like this. Or you're a stupid piece of shit, wussy, sissy, faggot, whatever, right? You know, the things that shove, names that shove forth that someone is not masculine, and if they're not masculine, they must be pathetic. Now, I understand the power of masculinity. And I don't demonize the power of masculinity. Unless it's being used as a weapon. Or unless it's being used to be an asshole. And I feel the same way about femininity. Femininity can be fine, but just don't use it to be an asshole. But when we have these movements that are shoving forth like these traditional ideas, I mean, when it's screaming the 1950s, you just kind of got to go, what? And I'm reminded again of the Bush era, first few years of his presidency especially, how people were called un-American. How people were just 
guilted into supporting any position of Bush. And I suppose people should will say, well, the Democrats should have grown a thicker skin. And let's be clear here. If we went to 1950s standards as far as looking at minorities of just about any type, if we start going back to those standards, that is regressive. Flat out. It's like, oh, well, we, we want the right to, to call Chinese people Ching Chong Chang. And they shouldn't be offended. There shouldn't be any, they shouldn't even look at you funny because, you know, it's, it's, um, it's freedom of speech. Well, fine, you're free to say something, but someone's free to re respond to it in a negative way as well. Or, oh, I should, I should be able to call gay people faggots and homos. They shouldn't take any issue. If they do, <laughs> oh, they're, they're just pussies. Well, then if you don't call black people niggers, then, you know, you're just, you're just, you're, you're just pathetic. You're, you, uh, you have no backbone, you have no balls, right? You need to be able to say Islam is evil. And if you don't agree that Islam is evil, you're just an SJW cuck. But yeah, let's, let's prop up uh, 1950s attitudes about gay people, about black people, about women, about Muslims, about Buddhists, about atheists. Oh wait, sub 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 subtract that because, you know, um, uh, atheism. So all the other groups. Let's have 1950s attitudes about things. And then just say, well, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just not being politically correct. I mean, it reminds me of when people uh, will say negative things, like myself saying negative things about the mindset that was around during the period where uh, slavery was still legal. And people will respond by saying, well, you know, that's the way people lived back then. Uh, yeah, and... It was shitty to a number of people. It was a shitty mindset. You can't say that. I can and I will. And I'll say the same thing about the 1950s. Okay, the way that people, like minorities, were looked at was shit. It was a shitty mindset. I can and I will state that. Am I stating that nothing good came out of that period? No. I would never say that. I would never even say that nothing came good out of the period of when there was slavery. But I'm certainly not going to make it sound like it was wonderful. Every period has good and bad things about it. And there's also all these things that we learn as a society as time goes on. Okay, We've learned not to be like we were in the 1950s. And here are these, this, 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 this social pressure to be more like we were in the 1950s. So when I see our society heading towards a 1950s culture in order to combat uh, what they perceive as Marxism or whatnot, and we're heading back to 1950s culture as as a response, yeah, I'm going to take issue with that. I'm going to take issue with that kind of regression. Okay, you may not like what the SJWs are saying. Okay, I don't like a lot of what the SJWs are saying. I don't like what most of the SJWs are saying. There are much better ways to tackle these problems than the way that these SJWs are saying. That doesn't mean that we respond by going back to the 50s in the things that we push about people. Like I've said before, I don't even remember some of this shit in the 1980s. Okay, and there are people, well, you know, there's assholes everywhere. And of course there's assholes everywhere. And there's good people everywhere. And in every culture, and I mean every culture, there are good people and bad people. Every culture, even ones that we t completely disagree with. There are good people and bad people. There are those that are very cold and there are those that are very empathetic. People will treat me as if I'm saying, well, Islam, as if I'm saying that Islam is wonderful. When have I ever said that? Ever. And I've made many videos speaking against Islam. Many of them. Okay? Islam is an unfortunate religion. 
Very unfortunate. And right now, the way that it's practiced across the globe, maybe not in the um, uh, Western first world countries, but in, uh, in especially third world countries across the globe, yeah, it's pretty fucking nasty. And I'll never claim otherwise. I'll never state otherwise. In first world countries, it doesn't really have that much of an effect, except for the extremists, and less than 10% of terrorism carried out in the United States since 1980, less than 10% have been from actual Muslims. But people are thinking that somehow, just somehow, people are going to put up on a pedestal Islam so much that we're going to regress to a foreign culture? And if you go, well, you know, some of the, that maybe the SJW is saying, what do you mean foreign culture? We have a primary culture here. There's no getting around the fact that we have a primary culture here. Is it a great culture? Well, just like any culture, it has problems and it has good things about it. But we have a primary culture here. And the things we have to worry about in our culture, when it comes to regression, tends to be towards some of the regressive elements to Christianity. And then people will argue, well, that's not really Christianity. Whatever the fuck I should call it. A religion that has been practiced here in the United States for a very, very long time. And traditions from it have carried out. If you want to still pick apart that sort of thing, a big fuck you goes to you. Because you're not interested in having a conversation, you're just interested in nitpicking the way that I've worded something. And as I've said before, I'm not putting up with, well, you didn't use the right words. You didn't use the right words. I'm not putting up with that. Just no. So, we are not about to regress to a foreign culture. We'll regress to our own culture. And that is a great danger. You know, we are always in some danger of this. And there are times when we are in more danger than others. And right now, we are in huge danger of this kind of regression happening to our culture. And I don't really know how to, to, to make it any clearer. Okay, the 1950s are not Leave it to Beaver. Man, bullying back then. That was the heyday of bullying. That's why when I see the kind of bullying that I see a lot on this platform, mixed with attitudes towards minorities and women and a number of different groups, when I see the same shit that you would see in the 50s, I'm going to be concerned and I'm going to state something about it. Trump being the way that he is, being the kind of culture that has supported him the most, it risks this type of regression in our culture. And we have to watch out for this. We have to be vigilant to not allow this to happen to our culture. Because if we let the regression just have free reign, on our culture, we could end up being like the Nazis. We could end up being that bad. We must watch ourselves. We must pay attention to this stuff. We don't want to repeat history in that way. So again, if you don't like what the SJWs are doing, have reasonable arguments and make sure you're not offering regressive views as the counter to what SJWs are pushing forth. Even if you feel that what the, the social justice warriors are pushing forth is regressive, don't respond to the regressiveness with more regressiveness. Don't push forth these traditional viewpoints of people. Don't push forth the 1950s uh, way of looking at people as the answer. Because it's not a good response. It really isn't. This could really bite us in the ass eventually. 
I hope I've made myself clear. Thank you.